five-month challenge. Five whole months. What's five times 30? I don't know. 150 or something like that? It's been 150 days. It's been half a year, man. It's been almost a half a year. Your boy been struggling and going through it, trying to find out all type of information and stuff so I can get to Arizona. And guess what, y'all? Uh, actually, I just finally got some great, oh yeah, and it's raining right now, just to let y'all know. It just started precipitating. And y'all know, if y'all know me, my number one weather is sun, heat, hot, sweltering. My number two weather is rain, especially when it's not cold and freezing, and it's kind of good temperature type of rain here. Got a hoodie on and uh, you know, I'm not really dressed. I did have a coat on earlier, it was sweating. So it was raining right now and it's all good. And I'm gonna give y'all some ball head good message. Good news. Uh, your boy got an apartment, man. Me and my girl just got the, the okay. We in there, it was a struggle from the video that I put up yesterday. I literally was waiting for somebody to give us a decision that we were dealing with for four weeks. Talked to somebody yesterday, talked to a realtor, really great company. And what they did was they basically got us approved, showed us places, after talking to them, they were really generous on, you know, kind on listening, not rushing anything. And it took exactly 24 hours to go through credit check, apartment check and everything, background checks and everything. They was on it. The other place took four weeks and they literally, the one that took four weeks, after I did the video yesterday, guys, it's crazy how, no joke, when my girl got off of work yesterday, she called up the realtor that I talked to in the morning that was hunting for the apartment. So while she was talking to the realtor, as soon as she got off the phone, not even not even 60 seconds after she got off the phone, not even 60 seconds, that other company that had us wait for a month called us back ASAP right after we got off the phone. And they said, oh, if you guys are willing to pay the whole six months up, like you said, if you're gonna pay the whole six months up, that's like seven thousand dollars. If you're gonna pay that up, then you can move in here, no problem. So we was like, okay, thank you, you know, nonchalantly. All before that, the whole time talking, we had a lot of energy. And the other day, we noticed the guy didn't have energy when he was talking to us. I couldn't understand that. So at, the under, so at the end of the day, we gave them back some of that energy that they gave us the other day. It was like, um, well, we'll, you know, what's the next step? They was like, well, we'll contact you tomorrow, which is today, with how much the exact six months are gonna cost. So they called this morning and about an hour, you know, my girl didn't answer the phone, let her go to voicemail, like they've been putting us off, put them off now. And an hour later, maybe an hour and a half, no, let's say two. About two hours later, within two hours, this other place called us, said everything went through, it's all approved, here's the numbers you gotta pay. 
not even fifteen hundred dollars so beautiful man god is good man so thank you so much we got the two beds two baths two pools like and it's gonna be for the same amount. also too my rent in manhattan is going up because i made more money last year and my rent goes by my income so i'm gonna be paying for that thousand dollars a month for my studio apartment a thousand a month for a studio in new york i'm getting me and my girl getting a two bedroom two bath two pools 24 hour you know maintenance uh exercise room wash and dryer inside department you know living room dining room balcony you know the whole everything man like we getting it's really a good deal so i just thank god you know, I don't have a car. I'll be working on that once I get the job. But it is close to light rail. And we're going to make it work, man. It's all good. I don't care, man. We're going to make it work. So to all you guys out there, this is, trust me, this is not bragging. This is just to try to help people to understand the struggle of what you have to go through and how the procedure is. I mean, it was, you know, for y'all that have been following me the whole time, you know, it's not a game. You see, I started stressing and struggling. I mean, heck, yesterday at the end of the video, I started crying, burst out into tears, man. And I'm not afraid to even let y'all guys know that because the thing is, that's how, you know, true emotions, how I really felt. And look, lo and behold, like I said, 24 hours later, boom, God throws things in a whole nother perspective. So yeah, while it's raining out here and I'm feeling it and it feels great to me, it's not gonna be that much rain out there in, in Arizona at all so I'm enjoying this right now and at the end of the day y'all you already know what it is man always thank the big man upstairs our Lord and Savior keep that love going stay positive like I said thank everybody who's been instrumental in being the support to me because you know I, I could be a pain in the neck man brother Brother didn't know which way was up after a while here. I started losing it. But, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, y'all. Until the next time, holla at your boy. Comment below. Where the love at, man? Where the hugs at? Bring it in. Where the hugs at? Uh, let, tell somebody you love them, man. Do something positive. Do something good for somebody, man. You know, don't worry about somebody doing something for you. Do something for somebody. That always feels, that makes me feel good, man, when I can do things for the next person. So, yeah, man, I love you guys, man. So, till the next time, man, I holla. Peace out. Your boy, Chocolate Vegan out.